Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day, another beautiful opportunity to share the word. We'll do this one quickly. Um, I'll be sharing from the book of 2 Kings chapter 8 from verses 1 to 6. And it has to tell you with where if God tells you to do something. If, you're, if God is for you or you are with, in God's camp, He's going to make sure that everything lines up. There might be adversity, but note that you are smacking his will and he's going to arrange things to come out in your favor. Listen. Then spake Elisha unto the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise and go thou and thine household and sojourn wheresoever thou canst sojourn. For the Lord had called for a famine, and it shall also come upon the land seven years. So this woman was like, so to speak, the apple of God's eye. And adversity was coming upon the land and Elijah told her leave sorry Elisha told her leave go wherever you want to leave uh, wherever you want to but go away from this land and this you'll be away from this land for at least seven years now is it that she didn't have hardship where she was going to go to no she did but listen and the woman arose and did after the saying of the man of God and she went with her household and sojourned in the land of the Philistines seven years and it came to pass at the seven years end. Look at how God arranges timings. So you don't ever give up on yourself where God is concerned. Don't give up on God. Listen. And the woman arose. And it came to pass at the seven pass at the seven years end that the woman returned out of the land of the Philistines, and she went forth to cry unto the king for her house and for her land. So in her absence, her house was taken, her land was taken. So she, her intention was to now go and meet the king and cry for justice, for the thing to be returned. Now look at God going ahead. And the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God, saying, Tell me, I pray thee, all the great things that Elisha had done. And it came to pass, as he was telling the king how he had restored a dead body to life, that behold, the woman whose son he had restored to life cried to the king for her house and for her land. And Gehazi said, My lord, O king, this is the woman and this is her son whom Elisha restored to life. Look at, you might look at it and be wondering what kind of a coincidence. It was not coincidental. It was divine orchestration and arrangement. God will do the same for you. Don't give up. Now listen. And when the king asked the woman, she told him, so the king appointed unto her a certain officer. He gave her an officer, saying, Restore all that was hers, and all the fruits of the fruit field since the day she left the land, even until now. So all the produce that she lost for seven years, even though there was a famine, it was restored unto her. Her lands, her house, and all that is the all the uh, increase that was supposed to have accrued to her was all piled on to her who could do that except jehovah are you trying to give up on jehovah don't you dare do that listen to jehovah do what he says and he has you cocooned catered for even till your very end god bless you